I feel like every luchador just instantly gets compared to Rey Mysterio, which could could be a good thing or a bad thing, I feel like. What do you think it is? I'll tell you what it is after me, after you. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, I, I think he's the greatest luchador of all time. Of certainly the, the, the most well-known. But I also feel like everybody thinks that you would then need to perform like him, which would be a, a real detriment because he has his own style. You have your own style. So you know who actually I like? And I'm not going to say more than Ray, but I've always said this. If it wasn't for this person, there may not be a Ray. Hmm. And I'm not going to say Conan. I'm going to say Psychosis. Oh, sure. Sure. So if you look at my style, it's actually based a lot off of Psychosis and like super crazy Tajiri guys who kind of like were were meshing with Ray and, and elevating Ray, you know, at that time. But man, without those guys, too like psh, fire yeah a lot of guys want to compare a lot of luchadors to ray and to me honestly i think that's a bad thing i think that's a bad thing because when you think of luchadors you think of like maybe ray you think of mil mascaras santo blue demon and then everybody else after that right everybody else follows that and every one of those underneath got the comparison like oh the ray ray mysterios and I'm like, nah, dude, there's, we all are very different and unique, different styles, different uh, mass. The other yeah, culture may be the same, but we're all very, very much different, you know, especially it's, me. I'm very different. Very different. Very different. Is that, is that something that when you go into WWE, they just go, oh, you're a luchador. We'll just put you in this box over here with the other luchadors. I think at first that may have been the case. And I, I, I knew that coming in. So I, I tried really hard to break that. So, uh, you know, try to be brother, brother with all the, all the producers and like, oh, okay, this guy does speak English. You know, this guy is, you know, not just a luchador. I try to be like, not buddy, buddy, but I try to get, you know, be good brothers with everybody. So that way they can, you know, think of me as other than Ray you know, or other than like just a, a generic luchador. And it did really, did, it really did help us for a little bit, you know, being able to uh, communicate with the bosses and not just like hide in catering or hide in the locker room. Like, you know, anytime we had a problem or wanted to speak, you know, they were there to listen to us. So uh, it did help that we were able, or me personally was able to speak, you know, really good English. So that way I could communicate and kind of get away from that, that idea of like, oh, he's just another mask guy or just Ray. But at the end of the day, you know, WWE is kind of like Disneyland. They kind of need one of everything on each show. So if you fit the bill, you fit the bill. And then it's kind of hard to convince the beast like you, you different, man. You really it really is like I remember conversations, heart to heart conversations, me, Metallic and, and Vince. Uh, it, it was it was very intense, like emotional. And homie was biting. Vince was biting on everything. And it just like, as soon as we left that door, it was kind of like, all right, what's the next problem? What's the next issue for him? You know, so like it, doing things on show days wasn't beneficial for us, you know? Mm. And if we had, if we had any appointments to go to, you know, Stanford or outside of, outside of TV, I think we could have been something bomb, something fire in WWE, but it's just hard to communicate during show times. That's the only time we were able to communicate really basically. It's just so crazy to think that you recently told this story where you went to WWE and people didn't know you knew you speak, uh, spoke English. Yeah. First day <laughs> in Memphis. I, I'll never forget that. And it, I don't hate, I, I don't have no like ill will toward anybody. It really is because of ignorance. I totally get that. It, it really is totally ignorant uh, that they just didn't know. But at the end of the day, man, it's, it's really the culture everywhere. Like you look at some dude who looks brown and you assume like, is he Spanish? Like am I, I get people who get very scared to communicate with me or like don't want to do podcasts with me because they think I only speak English. And when I send them the email or a text or they interact with me, they're like, holy crap. Like what, what the heck? Like I was not expecting that. And I'm like, well, because you're being ignorant. That's why like, just talk to me. I'm a cool, I think I'm a cool ass dude. Like I just like to have fun and, and, and do do some wrestling stuff, with, you know, but it, it was mind boggling at first when that dude said that to me, I won't say who it is, but, uh, you know, after that, I never had an issue me personally, uh, with somebody, you know, ever questioning if I was, you know, uh, 
Mexican or un American or whatever. You know, they understood that. Like, I, I made it very apparent, like, no, I'm this, and that's how it's going to be. 